how to use the new pattern feature in Photoshop CC 220. It's not in 219, 218, etc. Only in 220. Layers and patterns, you can find those via the window menu. And I've got a load of patterns here, legacy ones as well. And if you haven't got those, you can go to the right side menu and select legacy patterns. And I'm going to use dirt as the first example. Of course, you could use any other pattern as well. Just drag it across. And what you can do is go to the layers panel. And you can then double click the entry and you will bring up a panel. And there you can see it, angle. You can now rotate your pattern. You enter 45 degrees, 25 degrees, 2.3 degrees, etc. So you can align things really easily using the angle feature. You can edit it. You can also use that rotator. And you can, of course, continue to use scale as well. This is added throughout the Photoshop. There are some areas that it's not, such as the edit menu and film. There's no feature for that there. And also brush textures and also, sadly, pattern stamp. It'd be really nice if it was, but it's not. Now I'm going to use a different pattern now. Now this one is I've created earlier. And again, simply drag to create a pattern layer. And again, go to the layers panel and double click on the entry and set the angle to say 45 degrees. Doesn't have to be, of course, could be any other angle. And you can also change the scale. And you can still align, you can just drag and reposition it if you wish. Now, as it's a layer, you can duplicate the layer. Of course, I could go and create a new pattern layer. I don't want to do that. I'm just going to go to layer menu and duplicate it. So with that selected, go to a layer menu and duplicate layer. Click OK. Now you've got two layers. Double click on that one, the top one. And you can change the angle for that. Make it minus 45. So straight away you can see you can create some interesting pattern combinations. Now if your pattern doesn't have transparency, you probably have to use, well, blending modes or opacity. You can also use the new pattern feature with shapes. So I'm just going to create a, an ellipse. But of course, you could use it with custom shapes, rectangles, stars, etc. And it has to be a shape layer. Go to the fill and then go to the pattern section. And then down the bottom, you see scale. And you can change pattern, of course. You've got scale and you've also got angle in exactly the same format as before. So you can rotate it. So you can create some interesting fills now using that pattern feature. And you can do that with custom shapes. You can also do it with rectangles, etc. as mentioned. What well, you can also do, of course, layer menu, new fill layer, and pattern. Just creates a new pattern, exactly the same as dragging the pattern from the patterns panel. And you can select pattern, and again, you've got the same feature with angle. And you, of course, can change that. Make it 45, 90, 128.3, change the scale, And you can still align it.
So you've got your pattern layer there now. And you can still edit it, of course. You can also use custom shapes. But you can use custom shapes with layer styles as well. So I'm just going to select a custom shape. As long as it's a shape layer, that's the key thing. Current fill is red, but you can go to the layer menu, layer style, and down to pattern overlay. Sadly, there's only one pattern overlay in layer styles. Some of them got a little plus at the side. Pattern overlay still hasn't got that. And again, you've got the angle feature. So you can rotate it around. You can see the design move in there. Just move that slightly out of the way. And of course, you can continue to scale, change the pattern. And use it like that. But you can also use it with the stroke feature. And you can click there and you can see, of course, the initial, obviously I've got grade in there, but you can select pattern by the fill type. And as soon as you do that, of course, you've got exactly the same as before. You've got the angle feature. You can change the, obviously the pattern. Let's make it a bit clearer so you can see the, now I've just got uh, the red fill. You can change the size. You can change, obviously, the position. Maybe make it outside so you can see it a bit clearer. But select a different pattern. So you can see the design there. And again, you can go to the angle section. Again, you can edit it using the edit field, but you can also use the rotator. I must admit, it would be a nice feature if it was available, a more interactive way of changing the angle. Obviously, you can do it there, but it would be nice if you could change it interactively, scale and rotate. I'd love to see that feature. But it's really nice that they've added angle now. Click OK. And that's a run through of some of the features for those shapes, but you can also use it with type. So I've got some type and simply just drag from the patterns onto the type. And I created that earlier, some just text. What you can do, go to the pattern overlay and double click on that, bring it up. And again, you can see angle as well as of course scale. So you can reduce the scale and then you can angle it as well. So you can create some really quite nice jazzy text very quick and easy using that feature. Hope you found this tutorial of interest. Please subscribe to the Graphic Extra channel. Always adding new tutorials about Photoshop, Illustrator, and many, many others. Please add some comments, always appreciated. A dislike or like. Thank you much.